Yes, it's definitely, especially it's times we're in it right now that we need someone to lean on support, especially in this journey we're trying to go through, to navigate through in in this life, you know. So I think that's very, very important. So um, I want to I want to talk to y'all about what was your um journey like growing up. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds. Um, I want to ask this question on um side conversation. Can you tell us that tell us one thing that that we should know about dark needs that we do not know. Okay, so uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I, I know. I, I, I have know. I know your mom for almost a year plus, and she's been a blessing to me and my organization, Patrick Grace, and the youth that we serve. She's been faithful, committed. You know, even though in a minute she does a lot of things, she's been really supportive of me, really prayerful for me in my journey. And um, I've been wanting to get on my show for a long time. I, so, I never knew now I, I connect to your daughters because I saw what you're doing and um, the Save My Foundation. And I felt like I want to get you on here because um, I want to know more about it and why the both of you started it. Take your time. Just take your time. <laughs> Because um, when I had my daughter, my sister was seven, 
into like motherhood. She was probably 11 months in. And like my mom, you know, she already had two grandchildren before. And she's pretty young still. So it's like they already had like the groove of their lifestyle. I was becoming a new mom. So it was a new world for me, I felt like. And I'm not really the one to always ask for help or just to ask like, hey, can you sit with me? Or um, so I feel like I battled a lot of things on my own mentally, but they were still there. But mentally, I kept it in. And I didn't see until my daughter's seven now that, you know, it really do take a village. Mm. You know, it takes support. And it takes just a, a real friend or friends to be there because when you're 21, you have a kid, you want to party, right? That's what everybody does. And then your friends that don't have no kids, they out, they grow you know? So I realize now that if I knew what I knew then, I would speak up more and say, hey, like, I need you here with me. Like, because that's just what I feel like makes you a good mom, being vocal about your emotions and being present. So that's the importance of starting the same foundation. Yes, and um, I think that's very powerful. And then you, y'all, you said something, um, Taisha, that was very important that asked for help. I think that's a cultural thing for us because we had we struggle asking for help. We struggle with that. I think I, I thought it was me. I thought it was like just me, but I was like, it's a struggle for us to ask for help. You know, just in general. You know, whether it's like leadership with being a mom or being a dad or being a husband or being a wife, we struggle to ask for help because I think we're too prideful to admit that we need help. And then like maybe we was growing up, we was told that. As for help, it's like failure. Like, oh my, I, I failed. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, I'm like, but we had to know that it's okay to ask for help. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't make you weak. I mean, it makes you a better person. I think about if you change the connotation of that, I think that will that will feel rise to be better. So, so about your foundation, uh, what is the mission of it? I think your, I think in the times we live in 2020 going 2021, your organization is needed because there are a lot of young mothers I work with with kids. So I, so I work with, like I said, I don't, your mom told you that because she'd be in schools with kids and a lot of kids are come from young mothers. And I wish that, I wish that they were had something like y'all to come talk to and then have support them in, in their journey as being a mom, especially with virtual school going on, <laughs> like, uh, whoo, and, 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 and like yeah. this, and like navigating through this, and um, you know, just their learning style, especially while their brain still developing and developing their own selves, it's a challenge for it. It's, it's definitely it's being challenged. So, I would love to have you on board with me that year, go and do this work for our kids because um, I'm, I'm I know that. Our kids will be back in school. We'll be back in school. So them transitioning back to school in the building, 
um, was going to be crit critical and also getting support for the parents like like y'all, basically young young parents like y'all that were at, that been, been been there, that been where they been been at now to see to see the ups and downs of motherhood, the postpartum and the other stuff like that. Now you try you will teach them how to navigate through that or see the signs of that before it even into the postpartum profession because I always had a feeling, okay, why why do all these women get postpartum depression? Like I always okay is there a way we can prevent that before they get to that side? Like, or there are signs, okay, this per there's a sign, okay, I might, I'm going down this road, road. how can I prevent myself from doing this? You know what I mean? Or going, have, going to this next stage. So that's something I want to hopefully tackle because I want to, because if there's no one as a, I always say it's postpartum, but it's like, there's a way, we can find a way to prevent that before they have it. I think that'll be a big help to our mothers and going forward. So, um, so what? Where do y'all see your organization going in the next three or six months? Okay, so wow, that's really good. So, um, I so you know, um, your mom probably told you this, but um, I'm big on people speaking to my kids, <laughs> especially to our um, you know, especially to our youth. And um, once this pandemic ends, with the schools be open more, um, I would love y'all to speak to my kids. And also, I'm also planning to work. I'm working. I, I, well, I was, this, my goal was this year, or this year was trying to speak to parents. You know, for this school of words, wherever they say that's just, I'm waiting really want to get the parents more involved because I feel like our organization is doing great content, but and the parents don't know what's going on. They don't know who we are. So we can connect the parents to people like y'all to do workshops and speak to the parents and give them strategy and tips and, you know, help them navigate through this. You know, that would be big to my kids because I want this to be more family oriented. Going to the fall, going to next year. Just trying to have a balance where we have some for the kids and some for the parents, especially the mental health right. and the um self the self love and um, appreciation for yourself after you had a baby. Do you still love yourself? Do you feel like uh, do I, do I feel do I still feel I still I feel worth it? Do I feel I'm not for someone, you know? Because they they, they go they got buzz go through that too, you know. Like in my mail, like am I am I still Attractive, you know what I mean? I had to have a baby. I, uh, yeah, so I think I would love to get on board. And um, also, I am playing some MLK Day. I'm trying to find a, f trying to put together events where I can put you on like a time frame where I can have young mothers resting for your workshop. They're going to talk to them about certain things and they can know about the organization. And then they'll be, okay, this be, they, they're part of this a part of the greatness. Okay, this is something to, for the parents, you know what I mean? We want our parents to to know who we are, also support their kids too. 
and your, and your mom just joined us too. So, 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 so I don't know where she is. She just joined us. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll be somewhere. I don't know where she is. But, um, so, um, but I'll be definitely, I want y'all on board because I think y'all doing great work. I think the kids can relate to y'all because y'all look, y'all look young. So I think it's more, it's more personal. Oh, she just left. Okay. Um, so, um, but, um, yeah, so, but I feel I really feel like um, that yours is needed right now because I love the title "Say Say My Mom." That's that's a very powerful title, especially with this year going COVID and going twenty twenty one. We want this together. I really want to help meet people as possible, especially who have kids. You know, with yes. um, you know, so so where people can find y'all for more information about your organization. Okay. Okay, that's wonderful. So, let me ask you this last question before. Two more questions. All right. What does self care look like to both of y'all? When you, because I know your moms, entrepreneurs, and also, yeah, another business too that I want you to talk about too that you, I saw. Yeah, so, so that's, what's the other business you're talking, what's the other business y'all started together and talk to people more about that, the other business? Charge like five hundred dollars. That's crazy. I never knew that. That that's crazy. Are crazy. Yeah, you just, all you gotta do is read, read directions. <laughs> like, read directions. It's right there. It's right how I'm doing. <laughs> you got YouTube. That, that's <laughs> that's crazy. I never knew that. Wow, they try to wow <laughs> five hundred dollars. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Okay. Yeah. So. So that, so that, you, so that, I did talk about the self care part. Yeah, the one was doing that. What else is self care for y'all? Wow. 
Okay, that's good. What about you? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that's important that your mom, moms need to go out too. <laughs> so, just get away, you know yeah. what I mean? Get that song, get that, get that, get that me time. Because <laughs> it's a lot doing it. It's a lot of working with your kids, especially. So, let me ask you a question with one last question. How is all y'all kids um, doing virtual learning right now? Or are they not school? How, how do they feel about it, honestly? <laughs> how, how do we feel about it? Yeah, I mean, how, I mean, how, and also, how, how do they feel about it? <laughs> Oh, well. fully aware of what's going on, but um, my six and seven year old, they want to be back in school. Like, they miss the interaction with their classmates, they miss the interaction with their teacher. Like, we just had a report card conference two days ago. Like, my daughter was like, I missed you. Like, when when are we going to be able to give each other a hug? Like, they miss the actual building being in school. Yeah, I, I, I want to ask the question because the moms, because especially who have kids, especially first of school, I know a lot of kids are not, they want to go back to school. They want to be with their friends, their family, you know, I mean, their teachers and do gym and do science and actually go outside for recess and like have lunch with their friends. I mean, that's, let's hope we, hope we get back to that in 2021. That would be really great, you know, because they, right. lot of, there's a lot of things in school that the kids miss. That you can't replicate at home or or at, or access center, you know that you know we trying to provide for them. So, so I think that's really um, essential that our kids feel safe and feel very understood and feel what's going on. So, um, ladies, I want to thank you so much for being um, adjusting this and I don't know if we're in person. They you know they were Zoom. So, um, thank you so much. Hope we can stay connected. You know, um, make sure you can support your mom on the twenty eighth. So, like, so, yes. so, so, so um, you know, um, I, I know, yes. yeah. So, um, you know, she's truly deserved it. You know, um, you know, I just want to thank her yes. for her support. You know, so hopefully that we can take in that day that I can get y'all started involved in my organization, speaking to my kids, also the parents as well, because I felt this year is going to be more about reaffirming who we are. And we create the we create the positive villages that our community needs. You know, the so many villages out here, a lot of villages are negative. So we want we create those positive villages for our kids, a community that our kids can go to as a safe space and a positive place to go to, you know, for help or guidance, also for our parents as well. So ladies, thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all for, for doing this. Yes, anytime, anytime. So you are our last guest of 2020. So, so yeah, so, so we're going to close out our last guest of 2020. So um, so this week's show, we are the we no guests. Uh, the first in the show, we no guests. Our first guest of 2021 will be in three weeks. So, so, so we close out with a bang. So I'll put your information on, on social media channels, and then people will follow y'all. I'll support y'all going forward because I'm, I'm from a single parent home, so you know, so okay. you know, so I'm definitely afford those people that who come from single parent homes, you know, that you know that that need that support, you know, so. Thank you. I right. appreciate that. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank y'all so much. I, 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 I pray that y'all enjoy your Saturday and tell your mom say hi. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be good. You too.